All right. I say all right so much. Let's start the work. Today is Saturday, and that means tomorrow is my half marathon race. And I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Been talking with my brothers about it, um, picking up the packet and all that good stuff. So this is going to be just a short 30 minute jog, keep the legs moving, stretch a bit before and after. All right, three miles in, legs are feeling, I think it was good to get out for sure today. Um, I don't know, just uh, stretch the legs a bit. The shins are a little sore, almost like shin splints, but nothing, nothing to be worried about. But I think it's just good to work them, keep them moving. I've been running about an eight minute mile. Um, so yeah, just keeping the legs loose for tomorrow. Right now it's about 70 degrees, a little overcast. Tomorrow for the race at 9 a.m. It's supposed to be 55 degrees and rainy. So a bit different tomorrow morning. Still not sure exactly what I'll be wearing, but you'll see here in a few seconds. But we got one more mile to run. Gonna keep it nice and calm. No sprinting or anything. Another eight minute mile pace. Here we go. All right, there it is. Okay, all finished. Last run before the race. It's just under four miles at a 7.49 pace. There's three things I'm really worried about tomorrow or nervous about. One is starting too fast. I feel like every time in a race, I just run too hard at the beginning. The second big thing I'm worried about is going too slow. Knowing that I'm gonna go out too fast, pull it back too much and not gonna have enough keep up my pace or to be too slow for too long. The third big thing would be having to use the restroom in the middle of the run because I feel like that's one part I'm still nervous about is my diet and eating while I'm running. I'm going to have a few gels so hopefully that doesn't screw up my stomach. All right let's check out what I got. The hat is back from hood to coast. The fitness tracker, the shirt that's gonna make me run faster. The jacket that I'm not gonna wear, even though I'm gonna bring it. Same with those sweatpants, who cares, who needs sweatpants? I got shorts, those are the shorts I'm running with. And there is some awesome uh, shoes, the Sakanese Ever Runs. And ooh, look at that, yummy gummies. Boom, my outfit. That's what I'll be wearing for the marathon tomorrow. So you'll see me in it here in a second. All right, we are here, it is race day. Got my attire on. That literally thundered and lightning last night or this morning. That was pretty awesome. Um, definitely a little nervous, excited. Got to do a little warm up run. We'll get after it.
All right, finished with the race. Got some free food. There's some wine here as well. Uh, finished up at a one hour, 35 minutes. Will put me at a 7-11 mile pace. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's exciting to see when you can uh, set a goal and then achieve it. So that was awesome. So now uh, to the next thing. Next big thing will be uh, a back to training for the 50K. This is an overview of my race, the half marathon that happened on Sunday. We're going to go through it mile by mile. Everything was pretty flat. There was only plus or minus a few feet, really. So everything's flat. Don't think of any hills at all. The first mile we have right down the road, a 717 pace. This was just kind of getting the, the legs warmed up. The heart weight was a little high uh, just because I was a little nervous for the game or for the for the race. Second mile was a little loop here, nothing too crazy. This section here started a bit of a area that was bark, bark chips. So I had to make sure you keep the pace up so you didn't slow down there. Uh, then you out, got out of the bark chips around here and kept it up, 717 mile. Went to a 714 mile, headed back in. And yep, still keeping a nice 715 average at the moment. Here's five miles in. This is where I actually caught up with a guy named Jason. And we went over this bridge together and we actually started talking quite a bit about our race and what we were desiring to race for the rest of the year and stuff. And that's when I realized I probably wanted to push it a little bit harder than conversation pace. So at this point here, we had a aid station and we grabbed some water and he actually stopped to grab water and I kept running. And so he said, hey, I'll, t I'll see you later. And I, sound I said, okay, sounds good. Um, so then my next mile, I run a 708 mile here. So again, I realized, okay, I can push it. I'm feeling pretty good. This is six miles in, uh, seven miles at a 706 pace, uh, pretty solid. Still feeling good. Eight miles, a 6.58 mile there. So that pace was good. Nine miles, feeling still great. 7.04 pace. Tenth mile, uh, this is when I actually, at the, the tenth mile is when my stomach, uh, I kind of have a bit of a cramp, but I keep running and going through it, don't matter. Mile 11, a 7.04 mile. So getting back, I know I'm close to the end. And I, was trying to hit my pace and my goal time and I just kind of figured out what I needed to run to still hit in the 130s. Uh, then the 12th, actually this whole section right here was in gravel, was like a loose gravel road. So that really slowed me down and I'm already hurting and tired. So I really started to slow down here. And sadly, a bunch of people actually took this road right here and they cut off a two mile loop, this whole loop here, a mile and a half loop. Um, and so sadly a bunch of people beat me, but they kind of took that shortcut, but that's all right. And then mile 13, I came in at a 724 pace. So definitely that road and getting tired, slowed me down. And this was out in the sun and really hot. It felt like at the end of the day, but I knew my pace and I ended up the 0.1 mile here over this nice bridge. I'll show you a picture of that bridge as well at a 720 with that, or I guess that point mile was just a little, little race, but a little bit of the run uh, so overall was very pleased with my race and what my time was if i hadn't said it already it was a 134 55 exactly so uh, very happy of that and there is the 2018 willamette valley marathon half marathon <laughs> i realized i didn't say this in the video but i took ninth in my age category uh, for the half marathon and then I took 17th overall in the whole thing. So I was pretty proud of that and excited to see what's gonna happen on the next one. It is Monday, the day after the race and I'm back out here running. It's so nice, you have to run in these days. Keeping the legs loose. I still have 159 days until the 50k so enough looking at the past looking at the future and I'm just trying to run a easy four miles today and yeah get back at it let's go post race day recovery run 
done. Three and a half miles at an eight minute pace. Gonna drink a lot of water because it was hot out. And stretch and roll out the legs. Maybe take a rest day tomorrow. I think that sounds smart. I'll see you next time. Let's run. This is what this is what I'll be wearing tomorrow for the food. This is what I'm wearing 